Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, what is it? Is it Wednesday? Wednesday! Happy Wednesday! Guys, it's all blending, it's all blurring. I'm getting ready to go back down to Florida, but also I have a few things to do here in Charleston before I go. It's just like the never-ending, like, fucking train. But, but, we're gonna get into the drama because Jax Taylor apparently is seeking help, which is... Listen, it's never too late. But I can tell you I worked with that asshole 10 years ago and should have started then. But before we get into it, smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. Like we do it. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the Jax Taylor of it all. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Oh, so Jax Taylor has entered an inpatient treatment program to address his mental health struggles, which I'm not going to make light of. I know that Jax struggles because I worked around Jax. I worked with Jax. I was there when he was a bartender, and I know what he's capable of, which is, I guess, if you compare it to somebody in a what you would call a normal setting it would be unhinged i mean just being fair anyways months into his separation from britney cartwright the 45 year old cast member of the valley who hinted at healing earlier this week on social media is seeking help amid production on vanna pumperl's spinoff second season Jax has always been candid about his mental health struggles especially during the past few months on his podcast is what a rep said in the statement to TMZ on July 30th, he has made the decision to seek inpatient treatment. This is a particularly sensitive time for him and his family. They ask for privacy and respect until he is ready to speak more on this matter. Yeah. Well, nobody's given you guys that. And let me tell you why. Because Jax literally, the thing is, is like when, let me just, oh, let me take this down. When you go around being an asshole to everybody, you're an asshole to this person. You're mean to your wife. You're talking about her weight. You're cheating on her. You're an asshole to your cast members. You're an asshole to... Like, when you go around doing that, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I just realized that I need help. Yeah, bitch, we pegged that a long time ago. But not only that, to piggyback off that, it's like, and I would like for all of you guys to respect my time and privacy. No. I mean, yes, you should. But like if they don't, people, fans, people who are watching, I don't blame them. I would also be like, respect your privacy. Did you respect any of the people that you hurt over the last 10 years? And now all of a sudden, what you want a handout? You want a cookie? You want a you want a you want a cotton candy? You want a lollipop? I don't know what the fuck you want, but you're not getting it. For me, you'll get it. I'm not going to sit here and talk shit on you, but I'm literally talking shit on you. But what I will say is, you sound like an idiot, an asshole, but I do hope he gets help. So maybe he can be a better person as somebody who knows him not to be, as somebody who's had a cigarette thrown in my face and had, I'm just saying, Now back to it. So prior to the announcement, um, again, Jack shared a photo on its Instagram story uh, that featured a caption that said healing and showcased two books, get out of your mind and your life and set boundaries, find peace. Jax has told TMZ during a recent outing that he was focused on his family, including three-year-old son Cruz since he hadn't seen them for weeks as he focused on his many work appearances, filming the Valley and running his bar, Jax's Studio City. Then just before entering treatment, Jack shared a quote from ebuddhism.com, which read, be strong enough to stand alone, smart enough to know when you need help and brave enough to ask for it. Which I'm not, I'm not talking shit on. I honestly am happy that he's brave enough to ask for it. 
Just over a week ago, Jax was spotted filming The Valley Season 2 with Jesse Lolly and photo shared by Us Weekly of the July 18th sighting. The men seemed to be in a deep conversation what, and what appeared to be a heated scene as they stood outside of Jax's home. Yeah. Now, a short while beforehand, Jax teased a feud between him and one of his co-stars on his and Britney's podcast when reality hits with Jax and Britney, noting that someone wouldn't be making the guest list for his July 11th birthday. I don't need to bring the drama. It's already there. They just didn't put it on TV, and I'm shocked, is what he said. I'm excited for the season, but there's some things that need to be out of the bag. Cat needs to be out of the bag on a few different things, like your mental health. According to Jax, he was determined to, I guess, bring certain things to light during filming on season two. You guys are in for it. Because I'm going to make sure that there are things that are going to be told this time. I feel like everything was not let out of the bag. And there was a lot of like, why wasn't this shown? That's not going to happen. Some of you people are going to be in for a surprise. Now, meanwhile, Danny Bucco also recently confirmed drama with a castmate, one of whom you thought was your closest friends on there trying to stir stuff up and insinuate things that aren't true and try to stir the pot, which he thinks is for the show. He said, his and Naya Bucko's Hold My Crown podcast last month, but it is blatant lies. It's hurtful and friends don't do that. I don't like what he's doing and putting out there right now. It isn't cool. It's not just me, but it's about our marriage. Yeah. You guys remember that? Oh, Danny Bucko. Oh, sir. Yeah. Apparently, Jax and Danny have an interesting dynamic, and we get that. I mean, Jax pulled Danny's pants down on camera. It was cringe. Danny pretty much let it slide. But after filming rap, Jax took to his social media as bashing Danny's marriage to Nia Bucko. When a viewer wrote that Danny and his wife were the cutest couple, Jax clapped back writing... We'll see how this ages. Now, following this, Jax took to his podcast with his estranged wife, Brittany Carwright, to publicly bitch slap Danny even further. He's been kicked out of Jax's bar a couple of times, is what Jax said, failing to explain why Dan, Danny, got kicked out from his bar, canopied bar within a bar. And with all this noise, it's no wonder why Danny returned to filming a wee bit Pissed off. In images shared by Us Weekly, Jax and Danny are seen arguing in front of Jax's house. We can only see Danny's backside. Um, however, so this is Jesse and Danny. Anyways, holding his new lover, his leaf blower, Jax angrily addresses Danny. At this point, all bets are off on what is taking place. But as to why, Jax also hinted on his podcast that when season two airs, we are going to be in for a surprise. And he claimed... Danny received a great edit in season one, but the cat needs to be out of the bag on a few different things regarding Danny. Therefore, in season two, Jax will not let his fellow man escape a bad edit again. He said that's not going to happen. Jax has a loud bark for a man who lives solo in a hypocrisy sort of laden farmhouse. Never change, Jax. Literally, he never changes. Not just that, but... You're going to be away in your inpatient treatment. So shut the fuck up. Can you guys tell how much I love Jax? Hmm. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Adam, you're so mean to Jax and this and that. And I'm, I don't care. I don't care. I dealt with that asshole for years. I mean, like I said, cigarette in the face, like things like, I, I just don't care. I wish him the best with his mental health. I wish Brittany and their son the best. Do I, I just don't agree with somebody who treats people the way that he does. And he is a really nasty human being when it comes to the way he talks to people, the way he treats people. You guys think you see it on the show? You have no idea. Like in real life, he is fucking terrible. He's an awful human being. So he is a horrible human. There you go. Anyways, pop off in the comment section. Smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.